developing at this hour. The investigation into what triggered this blast, which injured a Greeley man. Neighbor Sandra Hill sending us this photograph this morning. We, as we were first report this morning, investigators believe an acetylene tank in the trunk of that car fueled the explosion. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon has been working the story since 2 this morning. She's on scene. Lindsay, it's remarkable no one else was hurt. Mitch, especially because debris from the car like this was all over this yard. They've since cleaned it up, but it shattered windows. It actually, the car was parked here, went all the way across the street, shattered that window there, and then a neighbor tells me that lives just three doors down that pictures fell off of her wall. Car parks just up and down the street for a couple blocks. It's absolutely horrible and amazing that he's alive. This friend of the man whose car exploded asked to stay anonymous, but says when this happened, she thought someone drove through her home. She tells 7 News the owner of this white Ford Taurus was staying here when he ran out to his car to get something around 1040 last night. The next thing she heard, a loud pop, followed by several others. It sounded like uh, just a huge boom, just something like just a huge explosion. That Come daylight, you could see the broken window next door shattered from the gas flap that flew off the car. It looked like there was a bonfire going off in front of the house. It was just nothing but solid flame. Valerie Moore says the man was covered in blood, but talking to paramedics, Greeley fire investigators say an acetylene tank in the trunk fueled the fire. Family members of the victim say he's a plumber and uses the tank for welding. It's horrific to look at. His face was a bloody pop. Now, family members tell me that the victim has a glass in his eye. He also broke his leg. They say it's going to be a very long road to be a recovery. Now, we have asked fire investigators how exactly this ignited, but we have yet to get that question answered. Live in Greeley, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. Thank you, Lindsay.